Wednesday. Welcome back to my channel. I told you guys in my last video to start expecting some trailer videos, but we are going to be doing a trailer cleaning out video, a spring cleaning, if you will, so that we can start doing some real trailer loading. Because like if you've seen the video yesterday, that was just a test run. Let's give you guys an overview of what the trailer looks like and let's get it cleaned up. Starting off, I'm not sure how clean I'm going to be able to get the mats, but I'm going to do my best. And, and you go into the trailer. There's dirt on this piece, which obviously there's going to be. That part hangs outside. But let's just give you guys an overview. Lots of, uh, there it goes, leaves and dirt. There's dirt everywhere. The ceiling isn't too horrible, but it still could use a scrub. The bars here need a scrub. This rope, I think I mentioned in my last video, maybe I didn't. It's just a precaution to hold these shut, although they do go in here. It's just a precaution if you're going to have a horse to have a tight shut, just to make sure nothing is going to happen while you're driving. But all this needs to be swept and cleaned out. Anybody wondering what this is, it's a trailer camera. Um, my aunt has the monitor, so I'll probably be able to get that from her, maybe. I don't know if I really want it. Not that trailer cameras are a bad thing. Uh, I just don't have a truck to hook it up to. So yeah, that's the overview. Along the outside, we've got all this dirt in here, wheel wheels, so much dirt. Outside isn't overall too bad, obviously it's going to have some collective dust after sitting for a year or two. All this, ugh, and the trailer door into the tack room. Um, I did put just a couple things in here. I just put my grooming blade, which I'm taking out because I'm going to be cleaning. This needs to be hosed off, but it is bolted in, so it'll have to just be hosed. My neighbor gave me a broom. I put Kamani's halter in here. We're going to obviously take those things out and get this floor clean. Let's get started.
pressure washer. I just have a regular garden hose that I use to wash Kamani with that I got at the tax store. It's safe for her, don't worry.
cobwebs to sweep out. I have the mat to put back in the tack room. I took that one mat out so that the water had a place to drain from. And I will see you guys when it's dry and we're ready to put tack in it. Trailer's dry. Time to show you guys what it looks like now and then again when the tack's all in it. So obviously I have to put the broom up. But this is way cleaner than it was. Along with this. Unfortunately, I couldn't get much of that off without, you know, probably a pressure washer. But I'd say it looks good. Now, this is surprising that this is already bone dry because it's in the shade. But look at the inside. So much cleaner. Everything's clean. I say it looks so much better and cleaner. Here's the door. You open it on up. That looks better. I mean, obviously, there's some dirt and stuff on it. But, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be doing trailer loading anyways. But, I mean, I'd say it looks a crap ton better. Got all the dirt that I could out of here. The walls. Ceiling's clean. All the cobwebs are out. I hate spiders. Before I show you the tack room, let me say a lot of it I've accumulated from people leaving things behind or me purchasing because things didn't fit Rose and Skyler when I was training and the owners wouldn't buy. So we're going to start here. This is like your shedding stuff. This is just a scrub brush for like a bucket or something. And this is some Nanny Tail Detangler with a scratcher. This is your hair stuff, your combs and your brushes. This is fly spray or lice spray. These are... Just brushes, normal brushes. Same here, normal brush, same here. This is some electrolytes. This is, you got some bet rack, bet wrap. You have some chains and clips. You always need that when you have horses. You got duct tape, bungee cords for bidding up, gloves, that kind of stuff. My spurs and face brushes are here. Starting at the bottom inside, uh, we have my wheel that goes with this trailer. Back at the corner are some long lines that wouldn't fit up on here and some extra spare uh, sport boots for my horse. A chair because you always have to have that when you have a horse. <laughs> I've been with so many people who needed a chair and didn't have one. I got a box here and it is full of... This is a balloon pump. This is obviously a, a bath pad or whatever you want to call it. This is liniment. This is liniment and wound protectors. So it's pretty much wound care, coconut oil, vet wrap, and a bath sponge. Oops. Um, and the reason I have the balloon thing in there is I do a lot of blowing up balloons with my horses. This is the big bottle of the lice or fly spray. I got my broom here. I have my nozzle for my hose and a sweat scraper. And I have all of my whips and flags. Then you go right here. This is the first saddle pad I'll use because it's brand new and I'm trying to break it in. Then I have two others, like little half pad and my older saddle pad. Going this way before we get to the other side, I've got my saddle. And I'm finally happy to have it on a real rack. If I could change anything about this trailer, I would want the saddle racks over there. Because this just makes it to where you can't really get back here and there's not much room. But, I mean, oh well. First trailer, I can't complain. I've got my surf single here with my girth. Then, let's start here. So, this is Kamani's training halter. And then these two halters right here. Uh, this is a breakaway and this one isn't. But these are going to be kind of halters that when we're hauling, she's going to be in. So this is more for training and this is more for comfort if we're going long distances. Behind all of this stuff, before we get into it, I have my breast collar, which I'm still thinking I'm going to sell it. If anybody's interested, I've got the matching bridle. This is the bridle I typically use on her, so it's right on the second hook. These are the three most halters I use. Right here, I've got a beautiful halter from Blue Rock Horsemanship and Jeweled and Tooled Customs on Instagram. I made it. It says Connie's name. 
Underneath that hook, we have a beautiful um, Aztec beaded halter, rope halter my mom gave me. Coming over here, uh, I have like five or six bridles. This is a, I believe it's fake silver, fake Montana silver, but it's still really, really beautiful. Uh, it's got silver down the sides. So I have that bridle. I have the matching bridle to the breast collar. I have this bridle, and then I have this bridle that I won on my mare, Dolly. The story on her. Uh, that's the only reason I keep that bridle. I've never used it. Then I have here just a couple of spare bits. Um, this one I'm only keeping because it's got my reins attached to it, and they're like, I don't know, melted on there. <laughs> so I've got a couple of snapples here, and then I have three different extra girths because with horses you never know starting here i have two extra ropes then i have a couple sets of extra reins because with horses again you never know these reins here always kind of unclip they've so far knock on wood haven't unclipped when i'm riding but when i'm on the ground they unclip so double reins extra reins and then i have two pairs of split reins here not i have two sets of split reins here then I have two um, hay nets here, because when I'm traveling, uh, whenever I did travel with people, we always use hay nets in the trailer. And then we have some sport boots in a bag that I haven't used yet. So, as an overview, this is my trailer tack room. I'd say it's pretty full for a person with one horse. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing some trailer training videos with Kamani.